All right, good morning guys. It is day three. So it is Friday, August 18th, and we have a catamaran cruise scheduled for 10 a.m. It's a half day catamaran, so we'll be gone for five hours. Um, I hope it's not something that's gonna make me seasick because I get seasick pretty easy because obviously I'm not in the Navy and I don't do boats. So Stanley's back there, he's wearing that. We're matching with the blue. And um, I'm gonna bring you guys so I can get some shots of everything, but it's 8.27 now. We're gonna eat breakfast really quick and then walk up to where we're getting our pickup from. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like from there. So I think we are going to jump in the water. I'm scared because I can't swim, but he can. So I'm gonna put on a life vest and go in there. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm taking a video, I took several pics. Which 
is a circle. One of the volcanoes erupted again about 3,700 years ago and sunk the land about 70% of its down. So it split it in five pieces. The main island, Santorini, one more island, Aspronisi, which means white land, one more, Firasia, and the two volcanoes in front of you, they all burn in your left hand and the new burn in your right hand. They all burned the last eruption was about in 1942 and the new burn the last eruption was about in 1956. Does anyone know about Caldera area or at least heard of it? Yeah. No? Yeah? A little bit. Heard you heard of it? <laughs> yes. Tell me what you know. Not a whole lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is here. <laughs> okay, that's right. That's okay. So Caldera area is actually starting from Pira till the volcanoes. It's the inside part of Sanorini, which is all of this that you're seeing right now. Caldera is a Spanish word. It's coming from Caldo, which means hot, and Caldron oh. Pot, which means a cap. We name it that way because actually Sadorini has a huge shape like a Caldron Pot by sideways. And between the, the volcanoes, which is the warm water, the hot springs are the same. So we took the ones from the Spanish because we're lazy and we named it Caldera. <laughs> <laughs> At this. Now Sadorini named how we came up with this. There are two versions. The first version is about sailors from Italy, Venetians, who used to come to the island and they were fell in love with the number of St. Nicholas Church, St. Irene. So if it's something they came to the island, they used to shout, Santa Irena, Santa Irena, which means St. Irene, St. Irene. So for the Lords of the Land, the Lords of Ocherono, they gave the island their name and they named it Santa Irene. Now the second version is again about St. Irene, but it's a little bit more small. The disease. And the disease at that time that people used to pass out and had a very long heart. Imagine that the ceiling pressure right now has about 5, 6 to 65 pounds per minute. Well, at that time when they passed out, they used to have 2 or 3 pounds. That's almost nothing. So, one scenery passed out, doctors took the exams of it, and they didn't know what was it, they didn't know how to cure it, because they didn't have the knowledge or the technology. So, they thought that scenery was dead. But when the time came to take the body out, she was actually found in the stands trying to reach out. So maybe after all she was still alive. So in your the runner, they gave the island your name and they named it Santa Rita. Mm. It's a little bit more spooky, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know the first lesson is a better one. Okay? But I'm gonna be honest with the with the stories. The first one is the true one, the second one is a little me. Okay? Hey, there are Are you excited? Huh? Are you excited? <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay. Are you rolling? Yeah. <laughs> Alright you guys, we just finished the catamaran cruise and we are headed back on the shuttle. So, how was it? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it was really fun, so we're leaving Ian now and going to see you guys. Check in later. Hey Nalls, so we are up for dinner. We have reservations at 7 for 5 senses which is I think a vegan restaurant is how it describes itself. So we are just going to hurry up and get our shoes on because it is 6.50 and we have to walk there. So we're just dressed and we're ready to go. I'll probably insert pictures and videos because I don't feel like bringing my camera right now. Um, we slept for like an hour and a half after the catamaran cruise, so that was really good, but I'm still just really tired, so yeah. I will see you at the restaurant. Hey guys, so we made it to the restaurant. This is Five Senses. It's super pretty, really cute. Yeah. Hi you guys, so it's really humid outside, but you can see I got darker, Stanley got his hand, and um, yeah, we're just going to order our food and eat our dinner, and then I'll show you guys what we do after that, so.
are you guys? So dinner was good. We are about to head back to the hotel and then we'll go out to, I think, Enigma or Two Brothers tonight. So I'll show you that then. All right, good morning, guys. So the last time we left off, we were at Five Senses at dinner. We stayed in the whole time because I kept falling in and out of sleep and then we both just wanted to stay in and not go to the club, but we are going to the club tonight. We are going to party in Santorini tonight. That is going to be a <laughs> So we're gonna go. But first we have to eat breakfast, so we'll show you guys that. Actually, we won't show you guys that because it's the same thing that we had the past two days. So yeah, the past two days. So yeah, we're gonna eat breakfast and then I'll pick you so, guys up. So, <laughs> about to uh, put some more aloe vera gel on on the manly. He's burned really, really bad. So, yeah. Luckily, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Bye. All right, you guys, so we just made it to Vorvalo Beach. It is a hidden local gym. So, sorry if there's any people from Greece watching this like hey why are you telling everybody about it but we wanted to live like a local so we went here it's 11 minutes from our hotel we just got dropped off and yeah it's a black stone beach so please keep our beaches clean Hey guys, we made it to the beach. We are laying down. Stanley is still burnt like a crab. So, uh, he's gonna stay over here, but we'll go in the water a little later. All right, you guys, so just got the fried codfish. Come with some lemon garlic, I think this is, and then like actual lemon. And then Stanley's drink is, wow. And then Stanley's food is coming soon, and I'll show you guys that too. I got a stuffed squid. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just had the food and it was delicious, but now we are laying out again and just relaxing. It is 2.36, probably go home around maybe like, I don't even know. I would assume my guesstimate would be like 5 or 6 sleep for a couple hours and then we're partying tonight so yeah really chill day really perfect day all right you guys so we are just now leaving the beach i have sunscreen on and it is hot so i am sweating stanley how was the beach it was good <laughs> so we are just headed back to the hotel and um i will pick you guys up when i am about to get ready to go to the club Alright you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. Just really dewy, gold. We've got some blush on, but yeah, our hair is thrown up with a gold scrunchie. And then just have this really pretty dress on from Shein. It has an open back, so I put this like pearl detail necklace thing in the back and I think it looks really pretty with some pearl earrings on and then some snake gold gladiator slides from Steve Madden. We are going to try and dance the night away. Also have these shades because they match the outfit really well so I see like all orange and red so I need a little turn it's gonna be super fun but yeah we are gonna head out. Alright you guys good morning it is Day five, Sunday, August the 20th. We are running a bit behind on outfit changes, but I will catch up today. Just gonna get some cute photos today on my Polaroid and on this camera, so we'll see how that goes. But just have my hair in a bun. Me and Stanley are about to eat breakfast, so yeah, let's do that now. All right, you guys, so just have on this really cute bikini. We are going to Pervilos, Pervilos Beach. It is like one of the only sandy beaches in 
not Katara. <laughs> Where are we? It is one of the only sandy beaches on Santorini, so we're gonna see that. And we are just headed right now. We called a taxi, and this is the Bukinia we're working with. Definitely feel a little bit bloated here, but it's fine. We're eating well. It's good. Wild donkey. Hello. We are not joking. How are you? Good. How, how good? Are you? How are you? Very good, thank you. Are you from USA. Yes. Are you looking for some beds on the beach? Yes. Yeah. You want first line, second, first line? Um, something 150 or less. 150 euros. Yeah. How much are you guys? I will give you the big cabanas for 100 euros. Big cabana for 100? The big one in front. Sure. In the first line. Perfect. Is it okay? Yeah. Perfect. I think it's the best deal. Perfect. I think so too. <laughs> Cocktail list, soft drinks, wines, everything. Okay, perfect. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Almost bust my shit. <laughs> what is this one called? Afros restaurant. Afros. I'm gonna tell the vlog to go to Afros. So, this one? Sweet! So, I left my phone in the taxi driver's car. So, we are going to. We just use his phone to call and he's gonna be back around so I can listen to my music and stuff but we got this cabana for a hundred euro and the people over there were trying to sell it for 300 which is crazy so this is how close we are to the water and it's really pretty this is like the only sand beach I think in Santorini so we're gonna have a good time need some sunblock though So, <laughs> so we are about to leave this beautiful cabana. We got it for a hundred euros, and the guy supposedly says that it's usually for two hundred. So he gave us a discount because we're Americanica. So, yeah, that's cool. But the driver's coming to pick us up soon. I definitely think I got a lot darker. If you guys can see, Stanley definitely got darker. How you feeling about it? Great. Great. Okay, agreed. All right, we will see you guys when we go to dinner. All right, you guys. So it is Saturday, still 9:20 p.m., and we are heading to dinner. We are gonna go to the Triana Tavern. So it's like 0.2 miles away from our hotel. Excuse the mess. Yeah, Stanley and I are heading to dinner. I don't know if I want to bring my camera or not, so we shall see what you guys see. But yeah, we're just going to go to Triana Tavern and have some authentic Greek food. So, let's go.